welcome to this week's free trade with precision newsletter or newsletter video uh, look quick one this is now for me currently the 2nd of November my evening here in Sydney uh, it's going to be uh, by the time you get this it will be the 2nd of November in the UK and the 3rd of November in the uh, southern hemisphere now the reason I'm doing it now is because quite often a lot of people what they do is they come home from work they sit down and they do a scam often they don't know what they're looking for I want to illustrate to you what you can do if this is to be the case so a lot of people say to me look Craig I can't trade I don't have the time it doesn't take a lot of time it just takes knowing how to use that time and I want to illustrate to you what I do in a quick scam so just picture this you come home from work you've, you've you know, you've had your dinner, whatever, you've put the kids to bed and now you've got some time. Well, you don't want to give it all the time. You don't want to spend hours and hours and hours scanning. So you've got to have some sort of routine. Here is my routine. And I t typically sort of start at the daily. So I'm going to enhance the daily daily a little bit. Aussie dollar downtrend. I'm going to get through all these US ones at least. Okay, so Aussie dollar downtrend moving nicely, pulling back in. So I've moved down to the four hour, the eight hours. I can see here the eight hour beautiful trend pulling back into this zone here. When's that candle going to close? That candle is going to close in a few hours. So I probably won't be around for that. Maybe one to check in the morning. Anything on these lower time frames, not really apart from the 15. Okay, there's a flat level there, but it's in a downtrend, not too interested in that. So I'm going to go through these pretty quick because I want to illustrate to you what you can do if you know what you're doing. Down on to Kiwi Dollar now. Uh, Kiwi Dollar, not really looking that good. I don't, I don't like this trend enough, so I'll skip that straight away. If I don't have some certain technical tools or ingredients, I just move straight on straight away. Euro Dollar broken down, pulling back up and then I'll have a quick little squeeze down here. Not really that good. I don't like where it's pulled back into and how far it's pulled back. Uh, Sterling is the next one. Uh, no, I don't like this trend at all for the time being. I'll just leave that alone. Uh, dollar Yen, no, don't like that at all. Not doing a great deal. Uh, On to Dollar CAD. And Dollar CAD, oh, I might have a quick look down the time frames. Have we got anything here? Ooh, maybe, maybe. Uh, oh, oof. Hmm, is it too? Is it very interesting? Well, I'd probably draw that in and maybe keep an eye on it, maybe check back before I go to bed type thing, but not that much. I'd, I'd, I'd write dollar cad down on a piece of paper at least, same with Aussie against the dollar. So I know where to go back to. Dollar Swiss moved up nicely, pull back into here would be good. Let's jump down. Now I've got this mid time frame as well, but I'm not going there because I, I know there's nothing that's going to be there just by looking at the daily. Little PLT, a little pull back in here. Look, I'm not a great fan of the price action at the moment. I'd love to see it pull back a little bit further as of, as of the daily. So nothing there just yet. Dollar Sing, uh, no, don't like that. Uh, just I'm looking for good, strong trends. Aussie against the yen, yep, another one. Lower high, lower low, nice trend move to the four hour. Uh, it's just consolidating and consolidating in a bit of a range. The 15 is going to be very ugly. Yep, it is. Am I interested now? Nope, nothing to trade for me now. Remember, I'm just looking for right now or the next couple of hours that I'll be awake. That's all I'm looking for. I'm not looking for anything for down the track next week, this week. I'm just looking for right now. I'm talking about not having a great deal of time and knowing how to utilize that time. Is there anything here? Not really. I don't like the trend here just yet. Sterling against the yen. Uh, Euro yen is the next one. And don't worry, the pace is quick, but I'm going to show you how you can learn some of this stuff in a minute. Um, yeah, I yeah, don't like the support there, but I'll have a quick little look. Yeah, it's not great, is it? It's a little bit choppy. Still still kind of waiting to see what happens at the moment on Euro Yen. Uh, CAD Yen, let me have a quick look here. What do we got? No, don't like that at all. Swissy Yen, uh, what have we got? No, I don't really like that either. Kiwi Yen, no, I don't really like that either. Sing Yen, I'm looking for trends here on the daily. Sing Yen, flat level, a bit of a support there. Have a look at that. Let's see what's going on there. Check out the four hour, blow that up. Okay, let's have a quick look, see if there's anything relevant around that level. Um, test one, broke down once, two, three. Yeah, it's starting to form. I'll jump down the time frames. I also keep in mind, I like the convergence here. I like the indicators are nice and pointing down. So if it was to break, it would be convergent on that level. Uh, I like it a little bit better than the others at this moment in time. It's not really set up for me to raise an order just yet, but it's getting there. It's getting close. I'd love to see another support test there. Good convergence here on these last two as well. Um, I don't think the 15 minutes can look very good at all. 
Oh, actually, you know, nothing to trade yet, but definitely that level is, is nice and, you know, it's quite obvious there and these lower highs coming in. So definitely seeing in would go on to my watch. This is one of the reasons I like it as well is because this breakdown through here would have it into a short term, or it would be short term, but into a downtrend once again. And um, it would be a nice breakdown on this weekly. So you can see this weekly candle here, a breakdown through there would be quite tasty indeed. But so, look, I mean, the point I'm trying to make is, I mean, check out what I just went through there. I don't know, it's probably only been a couple of minutes. So it's that 16, call it 15, it's 15 foreign exchange pairs and crosses right there. And I've gone through that very, very quickly. Now I can do it a lot quicker than that if I don't have to talk, if I don't have to explain myself. I go through it very, very quickly. And how do I do that? It's by knowing what I'm looking for, knowing what I'm looking for. Uh, at and understanding how to go through the process. Obviously, you saw I use multiple time frames. I use trend. I'm looking at support and resistance. I'm looking at indicator convergence and divergence. And there's a lot of things I'm looking at beyond that as well that I haven't been able to you know, go over in a very short space video. The one thing I do suggest, guys, if you do want to learn how to do this at speed, you're not going to learn it straight away. But the first thing you've got to do is learn what the ingredients are, which brings me to the webinar this week. This topic is the top ingredients for successful trading. Now you're going to learn some of the simple reasons and simple things that we do to find the best uh, probability trades. The idea really is to show you these five technical ingredients that you're going to be able to sort of, you know, use as a checklist. I'm going through and looking at more than five things when I do my scan in that small period of time that I just spent with you. Okay, but if you start with five, you're going to start working through and you're going to start to get a routine. The only reason I can be quick is because I've got a routine. I know exactly what that routine is and with practice, my speed increases. So for those of you who don't think you have much time to go out there and trade the markets, I think that you're probably wrong. It's just about getting the skills to cut the times down through practice. Now I've done this analysis right now because it is, as I say, uh, in an afternoon evening period right now for me here in Australia and also because it's not about the, the, the actual technical analysis at this stage it was about showing you guys the skills uh, and the sort of things that I look for on my scans so when you get this video register for the webinar as you can see right there on your screen uh, we've got it at one time or sorry two times 8 p.m. in Auckland on Tuesday the 3rd and 8 p.m. London on Tuesday the 3rd and you can see the corresponding times around the world. Guys, I hope you have a fantastic trading week and I hope this has been a big benefit for you all. For those of you who don't think you have time, hopefully after watching this and watching the webinar, you believe you do. Have a great week. Bye for now.